Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Tell the people, you got this, Neil. We're hiking. We are out and about. Yes, sir. We are at the little Halos, Halos. little red schoolhouse nature center. We're already off trail. <laughs> we are, it's right here. Parking lot. Trail's right over here. <laughs> We're here to do a two and a half mile hike. Three loops. Nice gardens. Oh, I would like to be gardening. Look at the lettuce there. Mm. Man. I didn't know I liked gardening so much. That's what I'm trying to do next. Yeah, you're right. You are definitely going to be the garden extraordinaire. Is this still Lake Catherine? No. no. This is... What lake is this? Uh, I can't pronounce it. It's a very strange name. It's the very strange name lake. Let's see if I can pull it up. Uh, let's stay on the path. Long John Slow. 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 We, you know, we went through this before, how to pronounce that. Long John Slow. Um, so we're at the Little Red Schoolhouse, Palos. This is the nature center. We are going to be hiking around the lake. I'm pretty sure. No, around the schoolhouse. I'm sorry, we're going to be walking along, not around the lake, but we're going to be walking around this edge of the lake. And then we're going to the original schoolhouse location back here and then we're going to go back behind in the parking lot to do another loop back there that's today's hike two and a half miles they say so it'll be about an hour we are a bit under a time crunch so we are going to be hiking gonna get it done we're gonna get it done and then we'll be done with palos we'll be done with cook county we'll get another one done so this is everyone has a little red schoolhouse hike on their list I'm very curious. Here we are. This lake is beautiful. So another lily pond lake, just like Lake Catherine. And what were we saying? Oh, so Lake Catherine, we talked about in the car, and we were saying that um, there's a hawk, yeah. Just like, uh, okay, I'm talking about Lake Catherine. I don't want to get distracted too far with the other hike that had the, the hawk cages. Crabtree Nature Preserve. Crabtree Nature Preserve, which is exactly Nature like Center. this. They close early and they've got birds and stuff. But the Lake Catherine hike, we were commenting in the car on how it was so strange that, or how nice it was that they had gone from industrial gravel to one of the more beautiful hikes that we've had in the entire book. Lake Catherine. Lake Catherine, right. So total kudos to Palos Heights in their reclamation of that land and how beautiful they've made it. Uh, total recommendation for that hike. You can bring your bikes down on a picnic. You can spend, do a bike ride and then spend time along the lake or you can just come down to the lake, ride kayak. a kayak, um, you know, spend an hour kayaking and then a couple hours just hanging out. There's a lot there's a lot of little things to do from a family standpoint. There was all kinds of kids and families there, so it looked really neat. That's a pretty cool looking bird. And we'll have to look up the bird that we saw, again, off the Lake Catherine. It was all yellow, like crimson yellow underneath. And not crimson, what's the, anyway, it was yellow underneath, yellow shoulders and then black wings. All right, so let's see what's here. Little Red Schoolhouse, we've been talking about the others. Let's get this one done. I'm already lost, so we'll try to figure this out. We have started the second loop, which is the Black Oak Trail. And uh, the signs say it's a mile and three quarters. Two thirds. Two thirds, some fraction that makes it almost two miles. And this is lockdown area, it's fenced in, <laughs> and they shut the gates at four. So, and they've got a barbed wire above the fence. Yeah. It says you have to call the police if you get locked in. 
So this is the part that's really important to get out of at four o'clock. <laughs> uh, as Neil says, the velociraptor, velociraptors come up. Actually, I think it was Ryan. That's <laughs> it was. It was Ryan that said that. You saw it here on camera. Ryan gets full credit. That's right. Ten likes and we release a velociraptor. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> on our side. Well, that's not much of a black oak anymore. That's a burnt black brown. ash. Black ash. Changed from a black oak to black ash. Ugh. I got that on film too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these. I got hit by a bug. <laughs> we got these hardened yeah. naturalists here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this is the way this trail is going to be and the Long John Slough is actually pretty beautiful this time of year it is mid-June and all the lily pads are out and in blue make sure to spin around and see that you know El Salvador is going to use volcanic energy to mine Bitcoin <laughs> fine that's crazy well, it's geothermal, utility grade geothermal for creating power and you're just diverting the power instead of to homes and businesses to diverting power to servers. Good. Yeah, it's, it'll cost, you know, close to a couple hundred million bucks to build the generator. So you better be mining a lot of Bitcoin. How large is the Bitcoin market? At this moment? Yeah. One and a half trillion? One and a half trillion? Mm -hmm. They better mine a lot of Bitcoin. Yeah, I mean, one million dollars, one and a half million dollars out of one and a half trillion? I said one and a half. What's one and a half million? Very small compared to one and a half trillion <laughs> yes, market cap. Yes. <laughs> but I don't know where that came from because it's hundreds of millions to do the geothermal generator. Oh, well then. Yeah. So let's call it 500 million. All right. All right, that's our discussion for today. What's crazy here? We got bees. Bees? Bees? Yeah, they got bees. All right, so we finished the Black Oak. Yes. Black, Black Oak Trail. We are headed back. Now we're on the main conservancy or the nature center loop and uh, we have a nice pond behind us beautiful lily pad pond and bees in front of us I really like the idea of having captive bee or you know, bee colonies in a, in a prairie as part of the prairie restoration that seems pretty smart to me Yay, nay. What are you reading? All the different bees. Oh. That looks like fun reading. Oh, the cicada killer. I saw a sign for cicada killer bees. That must be where it came from. Yellow jackets, never like the yellow jackets, they sting. Paper wasp, okay. Mud dauber. Honeybee, nice. Bald faced hornet. Does it say the difference between a hornet and a bee? Look how big the cicada, bill is. the cicada killer bee is. That's a big bee. Mm. And the honeybees are the smallest. That was a human screen. Cicada killers live in the ground? Yes.
Okay, well, I hope everyone's had a chance to do a quick 360, and we'll probably catch it toward a final loop. All right, we're coming to the end, right? Yeah, finishing the White Oak Trail, which is the third loop of our three loops at Little Schoolhouse at Palos. Uh, it looks like we're gonna put up about 2.8 miles in one hour. So yeah, this is cool for a short little hike. Very similar to critically low saving activity. Oh, watch this dive. <laughs> Very similar to critically low saving activity. Um, to um, Crabtree Nature Preserve. Yeah. Uh, same deal as, you know, they've got hawks in cages here. And they've got uh, lots of opportunities for like kids to learn more about nature. And, uh, and it shuts down early. So yeah, it was a good hike. This is finishing the weekend with my dad and my brother. So it's uh, cool, we did four hikes this weekend. And this is the last one in Cook County that, we're, that we need to do. So we've officially finished all the hikes in Cook County. Tractor coming up here, so we're gonna have to sign off. We'll catch you guys next week. We're going back to the dunes. Peace. Yeah, dunes.